Hello, Cecil County in the world. It's the 26th of June. It's Monday. I'm Rob Churnside, and we have a lot to talk about tonight. First off, Cecil TV will be at the Great Wolf Lodge grand opening this Friday, the 29th. And then coming up the following week on the 3rd of July, my good friends from Northeast Maryland, Scott <laughs> Wells and Brian Damaris, uh, cousin of Roger Maris, right? The slugger. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you guys are going to be doing a thing with the uh, Salute to Veterans. Yes, we do it every year on July the 3rd. Um, 30 plus years now we've been doing this. And uh, Brian has been the um, president for the past nine years or so. and. Uh, and I took his spot this year, so I'm keeping him close for uh, support. Adult, <laughs> support right? adult supervision. About adult supervision. Oh, awesome. So it is the 3rd of July. It is the 3rd. It's next Monday, the 3rd of July. Um, the, the gates open at 6 p.m. We're going to have... Uh, uh, we're going to have entertainment in the Gilbert Pavilion. We've got food vendors. We've got some military static displays. Uh, and just good fun. So we've, uh, we're having Danny Paisley in the Southern Grass. Uh, we're going to do some blue, um, bluegrass this year. We're going to change things up a little bit. Really excited about that. Uh, they're going to play from 6 to about 8 o'clock. And at 8 o'clock, uh, we have our ceremony. And it'll be a flag raising ceremony. Um, while the band is playing, there's, a, there's a, a, an honor dinner at the VFW. And we, we have all the VIPs come over and they have dinner. And then they'll slowly make their way over to the ceremony at, at 8 p.m. And uh, we have some guest speakers. Um, we're gonna have a, a, a few of the local county uh, uh, politicians um, with us. And then we're gonna have our, uh, our district commander for uh, our uh, local District 10 VFW is gonna speak a bit. And then we're gonna have uh, Lieutenant uh, Natasha Coleman from Aberdeen Proving Ground as our, our featured speaker. And uh, she will present uh, her thoughts on awesome. That's that sounds like a full uh, evening of entertainment, and the fireworks go off at nine thirty. And Brian, you were saying that it, there's going to be a component honoring the twentieth anniversary of uh, yep the Iraqi War. The yes, Iraqi, Iraqi War. War. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yep. Okay. So the whole ceremony starts at eight o'clock uh, in the park. Gates open at six to, for the entertainment and uh, vendors and food. But uh, the actual ceremony in the honor of our veterans starts at 8 o'clock, and um, that the Iraqi war um, recognition will occur. Um, all Everyone that comes into the park that night will follow through what we call the honor path, which will be American flags on both sides, so that everyone can see the sponsors of the event and then uh, come up to the actual ceremony. Right. And you're right, uh, fireworks at 9.30, out on the water on a barge. Um, and that's, Scott, that's when you swim out with your <laughs> big lighter at the long right, time. Right. And with right. my big lighter, right. <laughs> you, nobody likes these fireworks. Uh, <laughs> not anymore, no, no. Everything we do now is wireless. Yep. So the fireworks folks, will have, they'll have all that set up on the barge with their transmitter receivers. And then they, they'll park their truck at the end of the point down there where the, uh, the kayak uh, launching ramp right. is. And they'll do everything remotely. Yeah. Yep. Sounds like you're going to get a good crowd, and parking is no longer an issue as it has been sometimes in the past, right? No. Yeah, traveling into the town of Northeast on the evening of the 3rd has always been a challenge. So we now, this year, we'll have 2,400 parking spaces available for everyone that wants to come. Um, they can donate to, for their parking slot or come in for free. It's their choice. And uh, so we've uh, tried to make it so that we coordinate the traffic flow through town. This, the uh, county sheriff's office, the Perryville Police Department, Northeast Police Department, state police will all help guide traffic through town. To several spots, such as Anchor Marina, the elementary school, mm -hmm. the fire hall, wherever they tell you to park, you park. Right. Yep. Right. There'll be signs put out the night before, and it'll show parking wherever is convenient to you, but it's within a five minute walk. Unless yep. you need handicapped parking. And Right. Exactly. If, you need ha if you have a handicap sticker, then you, you just tr come right in Wal uh, Walnut Street yeah. and we have parking right there at the event uh, for you. Yeah. I, I, would, I do want to make one very important um, point here is like this show that we put on cost a fair amount of money to do this. This is 100 percent funded by donations. We don't have corporate sponsors. We're, we're not we're not 
Uh, we don't have any county money. We don't have any state money or anything. All this comes from you folks out there uh, supporting uh, our our event and our veterans. So uh, I just that's a that's a huge point because there's many people that think that you know oh you guys got you know a county grant or this or that or other. We we don't. This is all. I mean, all this money that we raise comes comes from the people of Cecil County and surrounding areas. And we're one week away, and you're still short how much? Right today, about $7,000 short. How can people donate? SaluteCecilVets.org. And that will direct the person on the computer? There's a little That's donate button, hit the button, and um, any little bit helps. If it's $5 or $500, anything is, we would welcome it. And that, we will make the goal, I'm pretty sure, yeah. but we are very, very tight. Yeah. Right, right. And we try to have money left over for the next year as seed money. So um, it, we, we start making plans at the end of this year for the following year, and those take deposits that we need to make. But yeah. there are 147 volunteers for this mm -hmm. year coming up, local people just like ourselves. Um, Nobody's paid, it's it's all a volunteer organization. And it's a great place for the family to attend, and oh, it is yeah. a family-friendly yes. event. It's very family-centric, uh, you know, that's the, uh, like I say, we have some great food vendors, and uh, as I was saying before, I don't want to start naming them because I'll, be f I'll forget somebody. We have community vendors, we have military displays, uh, static displays. You can talk to a recruiter if you, you know, if you're if you're uh, just graduating high school this year and looking for something to do. So, uh, yeah, there's a, it's a it's a good time. It's a good time for all. We'll have some kids' games, face painting, and things like that. Right. So, uh, yeah. Our yeah. presenting sponsors for this year is the Northeast VFW six zero two seven post six zero two seven and North of Grumman. Mm -hmm. they, those two organizations really made this event happen this year, so we always look for a couple presenting sponsors to really support the event, and those two did it this year. And it is an alcohol-free event. It is, yeah. it is. It's, a, it's, it's, it's very much a family event, yes, yes. And the river closes at eight? Start to close the river down at 8.30, um, and we have it completely shut down by 9 for safety reasons. So DNR, State Marine Police, um, uh, Bomb Squad, Fire Marshal, the boats will all be out there. And Towboat uh, does a great job of helping mm -hmm. move the barge, move the, move the fireworks out to location. Uh, Donnie Green with Bay Boat Works is instrumental at getting everything put in place. Um, so it's a it's a team effort. So you got the music starting at six, mm -hmm. the face painting, the kids' games, plenty yep. to eat. The uh, ceremony starting at eight. Yep. And at nine thirty, the fireworks. 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 It's a humongous thirty-minute show, <laughs> so <laughs> don't miss it. It will be it'll be a brain fryer. <laughs> Cecil TV will be there. Maybe you can get on TV. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you.